Hey everyone and welcome back to another Jazzy Wicks candle review. So today I'm reviewing a bit of a rarer scent that I found through eBay. I think I paid about three or four pounds for this. So you can see here I've got Yankee Candles Eggnog. Um, I got it purely because I'd never heard of it before and I thought what a weird scent. And um, there was a few other wax melt hearts that I, I burnt a while ago and reviewed that were really old scents and it was from the same seller. So I just thought I'd give it a go why not um obviously it's a bit of a christmasy a christmasy scent eggnog but i thought we'll give it a go so you can see i've used half of the tart having to hold it because as you can see it's going everywhere where i'm letting it go so it's got the little eggnog picture on the front of it and it's it's a slightly off white colored wax the i because it's such an old scent and not only is it retired it was also a usa scent this is not a uk scent so it's a bit harder to find information about it here in the uk um, but the little bit, I can't find like top, middle and bottom notes, but did find the little description for it. So it says, toast the holiday spirit with a rich, creamy classic laced with rum and spiced with nutmeg. I can see that it wasn't too long ago that QVC did have mini, like the small jars of this. Um, and I can also see that people are selling it on eBay, but it is a harder scent to come by. And I'm just going to say... I don't think that's a bad thing. I feel really sad about this because the notes, like the nutmeg, that's a bit of me. If if you smell any spices or rum, I feel like I would have really liked it. So I don't know because a couple of the other wax milk tarts that I had from the same cellar were really, really nice. And I think one of the others didn't really smell of anything. So I don't know if it's just a fact of how old the tarts are or maybe they've not been stored great but for me i couldn't really smell anything on this maybe a slight bit of like the creamy vanilliness but considering you've got nutmeg in there and it says like the spices for me it didn't really smell of anything i would not be paying over the odds for this and if it smells the same for a jar I probably would not be paying over the odds for it as well. Maybe if you're a collector, a hardcore collector, and, and you want it for your shelf, it's a good one to get for, like, if you're going to hold it, because, like I say, it is very, very hard to come by now. Um, I only saw this one on eBay. I've not seen it again since, and I'm making so much mess. Um, yeah, for me, I would have liked it if it had a lot more of the nutmeggy, spicy sort of scent come through, but like I say, I don't know if that's just because it's so old. Um, I don't know if any of you guys watching have had this. If you have, please do let me know what you thought of it because I'm hoping it's just because it's an old tart that's that's not been stored great. I definitely feel like, because it is one of the older Yankee Candle scents, the older ones are normally stronger and this one for me was quite a big letdown. Definitely would not be paying more than like one or two pound for the tart if, if you wanted to just have one for the sake of it. The jars, I'm not too sure how much they're going for at the moment, but it's going to be expensive if you can find them because, like I say, it's a US scent and it's retired. So a bit harder. Throw rating, maybe a 2 out of 10. That might even be being a little bit generous. Um, I burnt it in quite a small room. I used um, an electric wax warmer, but one of like the higher wattage ones. Um, and yeah just wasn't that great maybe if i had it in a jar and put it under my candle lamp i would have been a bit more impressed but for me personally this is not one that i would bother with again so a bit of a sad review but i also just wanted to give you a little update um you know i missed well anyone that gets notifications or if you watch my channel regularly i did miss a video on wednesday um unfortunately we had to have a pet put to sleep so i didn't do a video that day um and through june it might be a little bit quieter because I've got quite a lot going on and between my cousin's Hindu and my birthday, obviously money isn't really there just to be buying tons of candles. But that being said, I have still got some on the way to review. So on its way, I have still waiting for Yankee Candles Love is Love. Very annoyed about that. Um, UPS messaged me saying that the jar had been smashed on transit so they were sending it back to Yankee Candle and instead of Yankee Candle just never contacted me nobody else contacted me again after that so I had to get in touch with them through Twitter and sort of chase it and give them my order number um, and it's taken quite a few days to just get confirmation of a new jar being sent out so 
I'm going to try and get that reviewed for you as soon as possible. It is still available on the website. So hopefully by the time I review the, the Love is Love Yankee Candle, that it is still available if you want to get it, if it sounds good. I have also got, as well as that Yankee Candle, so I've done another Rain Sense review, which I've reviewed them guys quite a bit now. And I've also got a review coming up on Wednesday for them. Um, it's a cashmere scented wax melt. So that's coming up. But I did order, um, they're doing a limited edition large wax melt pack called See You at the Beach. I've also ordered their Raspberry Daiquiri body scrub. And I also got some new wax melts called Blue Raspberry Popsicle to try from them. And finally, I've also done a Wax Addicts order. So they're the guys I get all my crumble pots off of. If you watch my channel, you'll know. And I've ordered the four new Yankee Candle scents so I can get them reviewed for you very soon. We've got Golden Autumn, Sweet Apple and Fig, Soft Wool and Amber and Autumn Nature Walk. None of them anyone was very over the moon with. They all sound a little bit boring, but I'll get them reviewed. I've also ordered Yankee Candles Home Inspiration Cupcake Party. And finally, I've got two new Wax Addict scents on the way in their clamshells. We've got Blueberry Lemon Muffins and Candy Apples. So quite a few new videos coming up. They might just be spread about a little bit more than usual throughout June, just because there's so much going on. I'll try and schedule them at least once a week. Um, but hopefully get back to normal in July. So as always, thank you for watching and I'll get a new review out for you soon.